Hey, this is Uncle Mark. Three string cigar box guitar. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There it is. So uh, this is a lesson on how I change my guitar strings. Um, I've got some strings right here. I like my 42, my 32, and my 24. You guys know that. That's me, and I buy string joys because I like string joys. Um, so what I'm going to do is, is I'm going to try to toggle this video back and forth. I'm going to start with the low E, so if I was holding it here, it would be G, D, and high G. So I'm going to start with the lowest string, the 42. And so I've got this handy little tool, and I am just going to loosen the string. You can hear it kind of going down. Once I get it loose, you know, then I just take some pair of, pair of pliers here, and I cut it. That's it. Take it off the top, and then I kind of pull it gently through the through the bridge right here. So I'm pulling it through. Here it is. Pulling it through. Okay, so get rid of that thing. Pull out my new string. I kind of let it unwind itself. Once it gets to a certain point, I kind of just let it unwind. Okay? And then here at the end, okay, when I'm sticking it in this hole, I have a really hard time seeing. So I kind of bend it a touch so that when it goes in, it naturally comes up through. So let's see if I can get this to go through pretty easy. There it is. See what I mean by bending it? You know, I kind of just give it a, a, a little bend so that it acts like, um, you know, kind of like a banana, right? And then I try to find the hole without using my cheater glasses, and there it is, and it comes right through. And I pull it tight, okay? So I'm pulling it tight, and I'm gonna move the camera a little bit, and I'm gonna get up to the headstock, okay? So these strings are long, I'm putting it in a little hole here on the machine head, and then I'm pulling it tight, okay? So what I do is, is I hold the string in my hand. I'm going to do it with this hand to show you. But I hold the string in this hand, and then I go to the 12th fret, and that's it, just like so, okay? So I hold it at that. So now I'm going to change hands so that you can see. So I'm holding it. I pull it tight through there, and I give it a bend up. So now the string, you can see it's sitting straight up, okay? Then I move my hand all the way down. I center it right here at the zero fret and the fret part. I pull out my handy little tool, and I crank on it, making sure that this tail is always on top, okay? And I want this wind to go lower and lower as opposed to getting higher. So you got to kind of hold it in there. And with this method, you get three good winds. And then you know how to uh, tune it to itself. Seven. Okay, so it's a little sharp. I like it a little sharp. And then it, right here at the 12th fret, I kind of pull on it. Pull, 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 okay? Give it some pull. And I do it by ear, but I have a tuner here. One of these little snarks. These are really nice. Um, if you have a Christmas or a birthday coming up, have them buy you one of these things. Your family definitely wants to buy you things. So I just put it on this headstock here. And there it is at G. And I tune a little bit sharp. Okay? A little bit sharp at first. So because it's going to stretch. Okay? Turn off my tuner, put it back. I cut the tail long, but I definitely cut it off. I'm going to cut it closer soon, okay? 
And then we're gonna do the other string. I'm gonna loosen it up, the D string. And this is a 32. Okay, we're nice and loose. Move the camera a little bit. I'm gonna come in and cut it, doink. And remember, you don't wanna cut a string that's not loosened up. There it is, it's gone. Throw it on the floor. Get my tail here. So I'm gonna pull my tail out. Be kind of gentle when you pull the tail out. I hope this uh, video actually works for you guys. Here it is. My D string is a 32. Yours may be different. Everybody has a different style. Remember, I, I allow my string to unwind itself. I just kind of push the, I push this little ball at the end around and let my string unwind itself and there it goes. I don't want to bend it or do anything with it. I've got the tail, now I've got the end. Remember, I tend to take a little bend here. So I kind of bend it up so that it's more like a banana. And then I get into the hole and it's a little easier to come up. Here it comes. There we have it. It's really long. String joy strings come really long. So just letting you know, don't be, don't be fooled. It's okay for them to be extra long. It's just the way they make them. Um, your strings may not be this long. And remember what I did was, is I hold my hand like so, right? And I do this with it and tighten that string. That's how I do it. I go to the 12th fret and I make like a gun, just like this and I put the string in my hand, I pull it tight, so it would look like this, right? But I'm doing it like so, on the 12th fret, and then I bend it, bend. So you can kind of see where I bent it. I bend it up as much as I can, then I move my hand down, I kind of pull the string a little bit, and pull it tight against that zero fret in that pocket, and I get my handy windy tool and now it's backwards okay so it's not as fun but uh, it works the same if I'm doing this uh, at a gig it's just a little bit different sometimes your string doesn't quite do what you want it to do you kinda gotta bend it back up I'm gonna change hands here to make it easier for me this left-handed thing just doesn't quite work just make sure that their tail is up in the air, like this one is, and just keep giving it a pull. Here we go, wind, 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 wind. Too deep. And I know now that the seventh fret of the, of the low G string is what this note should be. That's good enough for me right now. I cut the tail, but I leave it a bit long. I'm leaving about an inch, and you can see that right here. I'm leaving about an inch, and that's in case I make a mistake, I still have some string left. Um, I have tuned, I have made guitars tuned, I've strung them backwards before. I've made all kinds of crazy mistakes. Um, so now we're gonna do the high E string. Sounds like that and I'm gonna come down on it. There we go. It's nice and loose. I'm gonna cut it. Move the camera a little bit. I'm gonna cut this string here. Doesn't matter where you cut it. I just like cutting it because if you try to pull this nasty end through your bridge, you could damage your bridge, okay? So I don't want you to damage the bridge. Cut cut your string. It's just a, a more professional way of doing it, of course, and then I'm gonna pull my string out, grab my 24. Um, you may be using a 17. It all depends on what you like. Uh, my way isn't the way, it is just a way. And I let it kind of fall apart on its own. Remember, I take it and I make a little bend. 
so it's more like a banana there at the end. It's a little harder with this high E string, but uh, and it's hard for me to see without using cheater glasses because I'm old. And uh, there she goes, coming through. Move the camera a little bit. There we go. All right. We are coming through the hole. All right, there we're in the hole. Now remember, we're gonna make our gun. It looks like this, but I'm gonna use this hand. I'm holding it, 12th fret, pull tight. Get it up in the air like so. Bring my hand down here. I'm gonna use my other hand here to tighten this up. Wind, 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 wind until it's tight. Make sure that it's lower you know, that, that the winds are going lower as opposed to higher. And there we go, now we got some action. The fifth fret of the D string should be the G. All right, then I cut the tail about an inch from the top. Okay, now I've got my guitar ready to go. Okay, so I've got my guitar ready to go. It's uh, ready to really tune up. I'm gonna turn on my Soldano here. This is another one of my amplifiers. I am going to grab a cord, plug it in, make sure everything's operating. And then I'm gonna take my little tuner my little snark and I'm going to turn it on, stretch out my strings a little bit, get my tuner going. See there's my tuner on the neck. It says F sharp, that means I need to go to G. It says D, that's good. G, high G. the delay. Okay, so once I get it to here, I like to bend the strings a little bit. Because then it'll change. successfully changed our strings on our cigar box guitar um, they're gonna continue to stretch so uh, you know allow for time to stretch when I'm doing a band gig and it's got to go like this and I've got to change it on the fly um, I will tune it a little bit high and it'll stretch back a little bit and that really helps me out this is Uncle Mark in the mothership we just uh, restrung my uh, three string cigar box guitar I'm gonna turn my Soldano down. Um, I do have a PayPal link down below. It's a paypal.me forward slash Uncle Mark Tips. It is uh, a virtual tip jar. I thank you all for the ones that have donated. Um, thank you for all the input, all the comments on my channel, all the sharing on social media, all of that. I hope this helps you out. Um, at this point now, I can cut the ends off and uh, Get it nice and tight down to the machine heads because I know I did it right. There we go. So, tune up your guitar, put new strings on it. It shouldn't take you more than five minutes or it took us uh, 15. So, thank you so much and we'll see you another time.